Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain, and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead, the final season. Um, yeah, sorry, I was just turning down the volume. Yeah, so anyways, we're starting on to the second episode of the game, uh, episode 2 of The Walking Dead, the final season. Um, in the last episode, we ended off episode 1, where we uh, ended up having Marlon die, and... I think a little bit before that was Marlin killing... No, actually, no, yeah, in the last episode, Marlin also killed Brody as well. I also have taken a break from the last episode. The last episode was about three days ago since I took a break. Um, I looked up to see if uh, there was any way to save them. It was pointless anger because apparently they are forced to die. Uh, I think that it's very misleading, though. The ending sequence ended up being a little bit misleading then, and I feel like that's... I like I like the idea that you get that choice of being able to save them, but at the same time they shouldn't have done. Like I feel like that's uh it, like with that kind of idea where they're showing you like oh this person died, but these are the things you did with the person. Kind of felt a little bit off putting because it felt like I could have saved them. It, like it really solidified that feeling that you could save them, but you couldn't in actuality unless you read the wiki or you read or watched some other people play it um either both but for me i feel i felt like that was such a very weird move to force people to feel like they actually could have saved them and this is like a whole gang of people and like it feels kind of like a what game was it state of decay kind of feeling where state of decay they tell you they lift the reason why your your survivor died and like what they what they've done previously and stuff like that and say to the K and that kind of felt like in this game it felt kind of like that it would have been cool if there was a way to save them and all that jazz but it's a forced linear experience I feel like and it's hard to say that the ending sequence where they give you like the, the synopsis of what you've been through with your survivors that you were with should make sense if they die to say that it was a force like it, it i guess it's harder to kind of say that it's not forced but it makes zero sense to have it in general than in that case because i'd rather it be the old walking dead style stuff where it's like these are the these are the major events these major events are uh the, the turning points that people chose to decide to keep with and yada yada, yada and whatnot and like that was much more easier for me to know that i don't have to that i didn't have to think too complexly about how i could have saved them or what kind of dialogue choices i could have saved them um instead of just worrying about it and making me feel like i should give up this game right off the bat because it made me give me that it gave me that sense of feeling to give up this game because i couldn't for my life figure out why i had to let them die and like if there was no way to save them i i mean i wasn't like this before with like the past walking dead because i, I it was a gimme that you know you know like they they were forced to die if they were just supposed to die and i tend to forget maybe it's because maybe i was years apart from the last walking dead series but in general i just felt like it was just unfair to to make myself kind of feel like there was a chance to save them but i'm thankful that they didn't actually that, that i didn't make any wrong wrong like super wrong choices but i did make some few weird disappointing choices that like not getting to know brody and such um and of course there's achievements for trying to do the other stuff but I mean, I can do that off my own time. Anyways, uh, let's get into episode two. Uh, that's just to clarify for the end of episode one in the last episode, just in case. Previously uh, on The Walking Dead. Just in case if people think that I really actually want to give AJ up playing. AJ I have been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. Huh? Mm. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. That was a very quick epilepsy the of a community meeting. living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. They should have put some epilepsy warning at the very least for this episode. We had to go back to the train <laughs> station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. So I don't regret killing this guy. I actually when think AJ that... When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. Yeah, because he had a gun on, a, on him. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. 
and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. God damn Marlin it, these guys got a <laughs> gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. I'll probably put my own epilepsy warning at the beginning. Violet just for... backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... AJ. Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. But not in the right places. To always aim for the head. Still, I mean... I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know if that was actually even... I don't know. It just felt weird because what happens... I'm wondering if I if I chose a wrong choice or chose a different choice of dialogue in the last episode where AJ asks about shooting him on the... Uh, shooting aim for the head kind of thing. Like, what would have been different if they... if he said that? But we'll see. I think the newly appointed leader might be us now because of how things ended up shaping up for us. Because judging from how we did it, we literally might be the leader in a weird way. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like we've also like corrupted the characters in a way because we made some of them depressed, we made some of them regret certain things and such. Can I do some coffee? AJ. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. I guess we're gonna have to do an aftermath with AJ. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. <laughs> You're right. Thanks. Is it instant coffee Last or night with Marlin? Oh yes, yeah, so I it heard is the day Lewis after. And, and what he called me. What did he call you? Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Yo, Lewis. Really? Oh, I Lewis see. Lewis called me a murderer. Oh, I see. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. Yeah. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. Yeah. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. Yeah. That's pretty much the truth of it. What are we gonna do? Oh, wow. Our relationship changed already? Wow, that was fast. We'll talk to them and make sense of things, but... It looks like the gang mostly are angry at AJ. Back off, all of you. Yeah, why are you guys like they this? They talked Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him. They. AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms. What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. So little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlin started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull. It was over. I hate this yeah, because the dialogues don't make off, sense. Okay. Back off? Seriously? Honestly, the reason Let's why go. I don't. The reason Clem? why. Clem? Okay, well, I'll, I'll wait till we if get. If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? 
I'm gonna wait till what? we get to say more. No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Yeah, because I forgave Merlin murderers, for killing Brody. Even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters, not all. Yes, that's true. When bad people, like murderers, try to make it right, that's when other people forgive them. Yeah. That sounds hard. It's supposed to be hard. It is. We're going to fix this. You and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. No, oh, AJ. You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. Yeah, that's just oh, war. Are you saying that to me after what he did? It's him, but he's only a kid. Screw both of you. I could have disarmed him though, so. I see. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... I didn't say that. that what the fuck? you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. What? He deserved better. Oh god, don't tell me that decision is going to end up being a problem for me in this end of I love this episode. You, Screw off, AJ. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I love you back. This is what I feel about this game. It's Screw off, AJ. I don't I don't love you. Okay, I'm sorry, AJ. I didn't mean to, to feel that way. No, screw you off. I, I hate you, AJ. No, I, I'm okay. I'm sorry, AJ. It was just my anger. That's how hey. I feel about this this whole game so far <laughs> with AJ. I said to come get you for the funeral. Okay. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. Made sense. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I oh, the firefighter. I afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. What? Like a firefighter. Oh, it's because Tennessee wanted to no, get back at Firefighters Marlin. are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. Oh. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. True. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. So basically... Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. I think you're okay. I hate this so much already. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good, like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. Vile started soon. Oh, okay. See you out there. Okay. Thanks, Tennessee. See, I like to say my stuff, and they, they don't see <sighs> this it. This is going to be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Is this another social butterfly okay. achievement right here? <laughs> Use the mouse to look around. I know how to play the game, dang it. Well, maybe because some people haven't probably played it in so long that they had to remind people how to move and move a camera again. But, eh. When you're ready, go to the funeral. Got it. All right, now I get to speak. One, I kind of realized this too as a little bit. Uh, is that they move so quickly. They move the the whole sort of like big event, like the big dialogue choices so quickly that I felt like it's so overwhelming. There isn't like breathing room for me to f like give myself some thought, train of thoughts of like what I think I really believe in in terms of the whole thing. It really made it harder for me in this opening p sequence to kind of like feel, feel for the death 
but also teach AJ. It felt too quick. It felt like the decisions were too weak in some places or didn't make sense to how I thought about it. Some of them did kind of feel similar or feel like somewhat close to what I feel about wanting to say to AJ slash all the people at the, the night night event um, or with murder, or the murder of Marlon. But like, at the same time, there is no right and wrong. Like in this world, right and wrongs has been turned so repeatedly on and off no matter what that it's like you really don't have any way to teach anybody moral lessons unless the person themselves decides to learn it themselves like yes me killing a lee was murder but that was because reasoning with the reason why we murdered the person gave us that reason to murder the person but that that Murder isn't really considered murder. That's considering just, like, death penalty that, that's early on for the character to, like... Or to kind of, like, end the person's life so they don't suffer because you love that person. You don't want them to turn into the thing and threaten me on top of that. Uh, and that's what really sucks. I just... I don't know why you would consider that in that Time thought. to go. Soon. I don't know why you would consider that thought to begin with. It's the, the weird thing for me. Um, and then on top of that... Like, Mitch was kind of going out of line a little bit. I feel like he had something very close with Marlin or something, uh, which kind of feels a little bit weird for me. And then Lewis also, of course, not out of character, but very much, like, very, like, crazy. I feel like he acts a little too drastic. Like, he, he, he made some bold statements that kind of turned AJ's, like, uh, moral standing to kind of, like, really think about it more deeply. But I think that the way Clem said it, like he said, hey, Marlon was no longer a threat by that point. Um, then it made sense for, for me to say that to AJ. But at the same time, they flipped it on me by saying like these three choices that didn't make sense when I had to answer to Lewis about how uh, stuff like that was like was um, was an AJ's fault kind of thing. Like it was hard to those three lines that they gave me for a, for for defending AJ were not great defense lines. They were all terrible lines to begin with. Should I should have stayed silent to begin with. But at the same time, I only defend AJ because, you know, he was with me the longest, but I don't know. This is Ready? such a such a terrible set of like decisions and like choices for me that I don't really feel like some of them mattered more or were right to how I felt for some of these characters to say. I don't know. I'm just. This is more opinionated, I guess. Some people might see it differently. Some people like say, uh, or some people would be like, no, it's really good, or it, it worked exactly how they thought. But for me, I think differently. I know AJ is shaped by what I teach him, but the problem is I can't see the future. That's the problem. <laughs> you taught him to regret his actions. Good, because he does need to regret some of the actions he's made if he ever has to. Because that's. That's to be human. You can't be hardened forever. You can harden, but you should regret in the casing of certain things. I wonder if there's collectibles here. Because now this game incentivizes collectibles, which pisses me off a little bit. Because I'm like, that detracts me from the game a lot more than anything. Oh, AJ. My I face. did that. Come on. I feel like I'm going to burn this place to the ground, even if I didn't want to. I wonder what... Oh, wait. I wonder who's going to take care of Rosie, actually. I actually thought about it. And if Rosie's going to treat us wrong because we shot him. Kind of curious about that now, too. Alright. Let's see if we can talk to everybody, or at least... There's Brody. What's funny is that he killed Brody, but then at the same time... We killed Marlin. I don't know. It's the same evil... Oh god. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. We Can... didn't kill Marlin, honestly. What? Or, we didn't kill Why do Brody. people have funerals? Tune said they used to have them more. They died. 
Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. But they're dead. Shit. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. She was I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals too. Yeah. Even monsters. She said <laughs> Even monsters. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. <laughs> okay. That's nice. It seems like Violet might be the next leader, though. Judging from Marlin how... Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. What the fudge? Seriously? I can't. Someone else do it. Lewis. Oh, Dude, wow. Don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, that's on it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Lewis doesn't care. I don't think he, What that... I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Himself. Me. Oh yeah. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? You I'm want saying us to leave? they gotta fucking go. Okay. We take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. Alright. I don't mind leaving. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave, but if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Yeah. Fine. Sure. I guess we're fucking voting. Where's Lewis? Lewis, Lewis should vote. Lewis vote. Yeah. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Rosie's not gonna leave, Marlin. It's gonna be hard for Rosie to leave Marlon. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Okay. It seems like Violet's really on our side now. But it's, it shows that Violet did truly care about... Please don't kick us out. They're not gonna listen to you, AJ. Come on, let's go. Considering that you're already on their bad side. It makes me think about like Fallout and some other games RPG-wise. Where everyone's like all the way down the meter of the line of saying like what they think about the thing yeah this episode is going to be really rough for me now because i feel like it started off really good with actions and you know like hey we got a, a new beginning with a new group you know everything's all fine and dandy but they had to throw a wrench in it and that makes so much sense but it, it just it just gets worse because no one seems to be thinking everyone seems to be doing like i don't know each character in this group seems to be doing things but don't they don't have thought behind they, what they want to do like that's my number one issue right now it's like what do you like sorry i'm looking at the time for the episode um i'm like thinking like what are these characters thinking they're just saying and doing and the saying just feels like they're less thinking they're just thinking that they feel like they feel the thing but they don't feel the thing i don't know it's just the the way it comes off of it felt very awkward to me that's as well i don't know it's, it's just my my take on how i see it i guess like mitch is like i want to just hurt these guys i just don't want them to be here and then some people are like yeah i agree with that and some people are like oh i don't believe that's true considering you know there was actually problems with marlin that 
surmounts Clementine and AJ's sort of being here. Like, they, we helped them, not, like, not not that long ago. And yet they forgot that and just said, hey, you're not worth it because you guys were here only for a few days versus the year that Marlin has spent. When Marlin hid all these secrets on them. What is AJ doing? AJ, stop. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Why are you doing this, dude? Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. That's the point. I know that I was bad, but but they don't let me fix it. It AJ, takes a breathe. lot of time. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on, you don't want to be loud, do you? Yeah, you don't want to show we them do that you're violent. When we're mad. We stop and think and um. I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad. You need to handle your feelings. Get them under control. I know, or I'll make mistakes. Yeah, you're exactly. gonna keep making them mistakes. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. We try to make Brody breathe at the same time during that situation when she got uh when she when she was panicking a little bit. Feel better. You're still mad, huh? Yeah. But they're yeah. kid. I think I'm sad too. AJ's still a kid. It's like it's gonna take a long time for for anger to kind of to I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. Kids are like energizers too. I they're only to make them all feel better. I feel like it didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? I didn't tell you to shoot him. We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe. I don't want to go. Well, it's not... <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. The people? I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. Lewis is not going to like us, though. No matter what. We mm. took the vote. You have to leave. Okay. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. AJ, stop being a dick. That's not how it works. Yeah. We're the guilty party here. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Yep. Seriously? That's it? Well, we can't do anything. You They're not going to let us give wrong. a chance. And you're not going to fight it at all? No. Because it's What's not... the point? You've already decided. Yeah, yes. and they're not going to listen. Yeah. They're not going to listen to us, ever. Since they're that angry, they're so not going to listen. Stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. <sighs> Calm down, AJ. He's a kid, Lewis. He's not that grown. He hasn't been in this we'll world this long. Wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. I'll make sure you get to the road safely. Okay. Lewis is regretting. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we. No, don't thank them. It's it's their fault. We gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Okay, AJ, you're making get him me under control. Yeah, I know. AJ, He's... breathe. You can be sad all you want, and you can be mad all you want, but this is how it is. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. Again. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but yeah, yeah. for the record, he wanted you to stay. And he doesn't get Wait. to say goodbye. 
Does AJ still have that gun? Yeah, obviously. Right there. Hand it over. Do it. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. Just give it to Lewis. Give it to him. Here, you can have it. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <laughs> I guess we won't make it long, I guess. Considering that we gave up our gun. <laughs> AJ's like, now he's gonna have to, like, figure out some other way. Alrighty. We didn't have this room for long, sadly. I don't know why he wanted our gun, though. Like, so he wants us to die? Like, Lewis really wants us to die that badly? I don't know. I, I'm not, like, the kind of person who's, like, easily gonna give up things. But at the same time, it makes sense considering that they lost more than we did. We didn't lose our lives, but we did lose sort of a place to stay safe and kind of be together with. Oh, they're still behind us, really? Oh, Rai is gonna carry the arrow. The bow and arrow this time. Will we get another car? Hopefully. Probably not. We got lucky before. Yeah. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. That's oh, fine. we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tie I'll up carry. shirt and tie them up if we have to. I'll it's carry not so him. Bad. Lewis, you don't get to say anything. I mean, you've done this before. Screw you, Lewis. You're the one who voted. Probably you don't get to say anything. Pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Don't pretend you give a shit. I'm sorry, Lewis. You literally voted it and you decided on it, and we can't help but to let you do whatever you like. We're here. Safe zone. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? Yeah, Lewis. I'm sorry. I'm a little angry with Lewis. I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. I feel like we're gonna encounter the other group, though. The group that's... I think this is still falling into Marlin's plan of, like, letting us get traded off for their safety. But it's whatever, I guess. I must be stupid. What? I can't leave you out here unarmed. Oh? You're just gonna give us the gun back? Thank you. Hmm? Thanks. Bye, Lewis. You were nice until Marlin died. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. Yeah, and walk the you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. It's How? red. There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. True. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? We will. We always will. I thought will. we were done running from all the bad people. Yeah, of course we'll be okay. We're used to this. I hate it out here. I wish we could go back. Yeah. Everyone so wishes so, I. too. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What the fudge? That scared me. Every time they do these weird, surprising jump cuts, or uh, jump scares, it really, like, kind of gets on my nerve a little bit sometimes. Okay. Pixie Doodles? Now come on out. Oh, he didn't I die. A couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, Albion shit. only cut his arm just That's to sacrifice the himself. The train station, yes. Yeah. 
I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Yeah. Stay here. Wait. Wait for him to get close. Oh! No. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the dumbest kills ever. This is the dumbest deaths I've ever seen in my life. It's like, why would you jump without me controlling it? I, I'm the one who controls it, not the game. The game shouldn't have done that for me, but yet it allows me to do it. Okay, I gotta... Gotta struggle, apparently. Missing an arm ain't easy, eh? Tough little bitch, aren't you? Oh no, careful. Kick the gun away, dude. Oh, who's this? Who's behind me, though? I can't tell. Ugh. Oh, okay. Who the heck is this? It looks like a lady. Careful. I wouldn't, boy. Oh god, Any that's closer, gonna be your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Okay. Yeah, it is a lady. Good to see you again, Squirt. Ooh. Don't I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. <laughs> oh. He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? No. It's not like you have many other options. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. I mean, literally, we're out here. communes around here. Let him go, please. Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. Do it. Ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? Yeah. That's just how it'll look. I'm kind of curious how far I can bring this, though. Who is this person? I want to see. Jane? That looks like Jane. Oh my God. Clementine, it's you. Who are you again? I, I can't remember. My name is Lily. I can't remember for some reason. You probably don't remember me. Wait, is she really? from the first season? The I, one that lost you died. The I one that lost the dad? Came close. Lee left her behind. Not now. The fuck is this? I said not now. Okay, I will accept it for now, but let him go. Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. So it is the lady from get him leaving me on the side of the road. Yeah, to it die. is that <laughs> it is the first season lady. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Yep. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. No, I. Well, Same I'm here too. To what? You if you repeat his mistakes, your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. Okay. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit. I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck. We don't have time for all this. Why? We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. What is this job? We can job? help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. Why? We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All What's... we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. <sighs> I'm not Marlin. Yeah, we're Here's not their I'll leader. Do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. <clears throat> that way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Abel's gonna die. He's gonna die, time. but... It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run! Just run. 
Dude, get out. Ooh. Stop. Come on. <laughs> it's either them or us. Oh no! Did he get shot in the gut? It looks like he got shot in the gut. Shotgun, damn it. AJ got shot in the, the, the liver, I guess, or the, the intestine. He didn't get a he didn't get shot in the vital area, so that's good. It's not a vital spot. Oh, I wonder what happens if I got tripped over there. <laughs> I just want to see how many possible ways that Clementine can die in this game. It's I'm, I'm not trying to be sadistic or anything. It's just it's just kind of weird to me. Like that, that there's so many different ways you can die in this game. It's incredible how different things are for for the characters here in death. My problem is why are they catching these kids? That's the weird problem. What is their their motive? If you didn't give us a motive, then we won't give reason. Oh shit! We can't give reason if there's no motive in mind. All right. Well, we're gonna have to handle this again. Didn't Lee in? Who was the character? Who was the character who told us to put blood on our bodies? In the game. I forget if there was person. Oh god. We don't even have our knife anymore. That sucks. Run. Is AJ still oh AJ oh no, AJ's bleeding out. Yeah, he's bleeding out. It's not a deep wound it looks like, but it looks like it'll be painful. Carry him. Oh he has a knife. I can't help him if this is the case. Got to be very careful though. All right, that's a good spot to actually end it though. Yeah, because I'm going over by a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode or another video of mine. So hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Good night or whatever watching this. Yeah, I'm just surprised that they brought back a season one character. I'm wondering what kind of season characters that they'll bring back as well on top of this if this is the case of them doing this kind of thing but it makes no sense to be honest like i just feel like they're just pulling lily just because it made sense for them i guess i'm trying to remember if we actually left lily behind or not i don't remember leaving lily behind honestly i don't remember i might i might have did i might have done it but i probably don't remember it too clearly clearly slash vividly because i think they did it for purpose reasons or story purpose reasons that forced us to leave her behind but i think that yeah i mean like the only reason why i'll ever like accept their offer of helping them would be knowing what their motive is and that's pretty much it i mean like if their motive because they are wearing sort of like a military military uh mil militarized like sort of jacket so i kind of feel like they're coming off as like very well trained and very like whatever with military stuff and mercenary stuff but at the same time why why the hell do they have these things and are they working for the side of what's good like what's left of the military soldiers or are they working on the the sake of uh just getting resources and being a weird one like like at least present yourself much more professionally versus having to be like threatening to others when you know in this case like we're not savages, we're here to negotiate some stuff, and yet you're just being on my wrong side by saying, lead us to them with no interior motives, and they said they need all of us. What? <laughs> like, they, they, they even say, oh, we have, they incentivize that they have all these good resources, but what does that mean to me? Like, well, I don't get it. Is it to torture us? To treat us like slaves? Are they making another society? What is this? I don't get it. You're, you're coming off as a lying person because of how you guys are handling the situation uh, with Lillian Abel, Abel, I think is his name, or kind of like actually legitimizing your fact of why you guys are helping us because you guys want more people in your society to help build this community better or something like that. But it's hard to see that because we don't have that proof and we don't have the motive, nothing. Just grab people, that's it. And that was all it was. Unless Marlon did really 
kind of disagree with them somehow for some reason, then we'll figure that out in the next episode or some other episode part for this episode too. Anyways, that's it for me in this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will go ahead and do whatever we need to do for this episode, uh, and then we'll figure out what the hell is the truth behind Lily and or and her group of people. So other than that, Roz. Out.